from mundane to ridiculous. We can't even get ready for our trip without Jerry bugging us. Tell me about it. That man is the absolute worst. We should definitely give him a piece of our minds. I totally agree. It's high time we put our feet down. <laughs> <laughs> lives. Yeah, and no more treating us like little girls. Do I make myself cl cl clear? Crystal clear. Hello, girls. I'm Max Smith, your new Whoop Guardian. You're our new guardian? W what happened to Jerry? Jerry decided after 35 wonderful years with Whoop that it was time he worked on his golf game. He's retired. It's true, ladies. I have indeed retired. I am, however, confident that I've left you in very capable hands. Max should prove to be a fine replacement. So, does this mean we're never gonna see you again, Jer? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm retired. I can't believe Jerry retired. It seems like just yesterday he was invading our privacy and majorly getting on our nerves. Well, we'll have plenty of time to get acquainted later, girls. Right now, I need you to gather around, because I have a really important mission for you. Great. This guy's going to be a pain in the butt just like Jerry. And the first thing you'll need for this mission is an official Whoop Platinum credit card. What did you just say? Platinum credit card? And that's right. Whoop gave me a couple of new cards this morning. Your first mission is to go shopping on the organization's dime. I know this fabulous new department store in Paris. Paris? But, but, but what about our gadgets? Jerry always gives us gadgets. Okay, here's the parasol crossbow, the backpack jetpack, the crime scene scanner watch, the tornado in a can of hairspray, and a tube of immobilizing stun tan lotion. Have fun. Ah! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It's official. Max, the best. The total ultimate coolest. You can say that again. But he's also so cool and smart. I'm gonna call Jerry to see what he might like for a retirement gift. Hey, Jer, it's Alex. Just wondering what you might like as a retirement... Sorry, I can't help you. I'm retired. Rude much? Don't worry about it. Yeah, Jerry's loss is totally our gain. Maybe I'll buy a gift for Mac. After all, a little generosity could go a long way. What the? Ah! <laughs> purchasing power than I was looking for. We better get back to Whoop and tell Mac what happened. Nice suit. Whoa, back so soon? Yeah, we uh, had a little problem with the credit card. Not that we didn't totally appreciate you giving it to us. What? Was it declined or something? No, it attacked us with its whirling saw blades of death. We barely made it out of the store alive. Um, for you. Sorry I didn't have time to get it gift wrapped. Ah, oh, you girls can't be serious. Unfortunately, we are serious. And so is the $200,000 bill for damages you'll be receiving from the department store. Doesn't it even bother you that we were almost shredded by a killer credit card? Alex, Mac is a seasoned agent. He's probably been in so many dangerous situations, stuff like this doesn't even phase him. Girls, I apologize. You've got to let me make this up to you. How about a cliff diving adventure in Acapulco? I think we've had enough international excitement for one day. Well, then the least I can do is offer you a ride home in style. Take my brand new Turbo Titan 3000 XT. Just bought it yesterday. Still has that new car smell. Wow. <laughs> well, if you insist. of function, Alex. It's a question of fashion. Whoa! Whoa, I guess this car really is the bomb. I wonder what could have caused this. I think the question is who could have caused this. Huh? Bingo! What is it? A fingerprint. A fingerprint that belongs to a criminal named Tim Scam. Man, his rap sheet's longer than Clover's list of past boyfriends. Well, almost. Uh-oh. We should warn Mac. I mean, first the evil credit card, and now this. I think this Tim guy's after him. Huh, there's no answer. Then I guess we better get to Whoop and warn him. And how exactly are we gonna do that? Yeah, in case you forgot, our ride exploded. Well, if we can't drive, huh? let's fly. Yeah! Where could he be? I don't know, but we should at least leave him a note. That says what? Mac, FYI, in addition to turning your credit card into a whirling blade of death, some psycho also blew your car into a billion pieces of scrap metal. By the way, let's do lunch. drawing of the evapoblaster and a file on Tim's scam. That's weird. Why would Mac have those? Unless he knows that Tim's scam is after him. Wait a second. This is a Whoop employee file. That's impossible. That would mean that Tim's scam used to work at Whoop. According to these records, he was a Whoop weapons technician 20 years ago. But it says here he was fired for illegal use of Whoop technology. 
What a creep! We better call Jerry. I'm sure he remembers Tim's scam. After all, he worked here for like 90 years. Jerry, you've got to help us. There's a crazy- Sorry, I can't help you. I'm retired. Trey uncouth. I mean, I don't care if he is retired. This is an emergency. Wait a second. Sorry, I can't help you. I'm retired. I knew it. This isn't live. This is on a tape loop. A tape loop? Now, why would Jerry do that? He wouldn't, but someone else might. Someone like Tim Scam. <laughs> Hold it right there. something in here to give him the slip. I get a ticket every time I drive my car. How am I supposed to drive any of these crazy things? How hard can this be to drive? What the? Anti-gravity cycle. No time for driving my Blaster with a missile guidance system. We're so happy it's you and not that crazy Tim Scam! Yeah! He's been chasing us all over Whoop, and he's after you too! Hmm. By the way, do you girls still have your stun tan lotion on you? Sure. So, what are we going to do about Tim Scam? Hey, did you know that your name backwards spells Tim Scam? Whoa, that is a weird coincidence. You're Tim Scam! Thank goodness you're all right. I was so worried that Tim Scam got to you. I need a deep tissue massage right this second. Make it too. Hey, where's that jerk, Max Smith or Tim Scam or whatever his name is? Forget about that jerk. Where are we? <gasps> Try to relax and enjoy the ride, girls. Why did you bring us out here? And what do you plan to do with that? Why, I'm going to use it to evaporate the entire Earth's water from the safety of my spaceship. I gotta say, even for a complete psycho like you, that's still a really crazy idea. Thank you. We read your Whoop file. We know all about your criminal past. Whoop never did appreciate me for the genius that I am. Drop the money! We've got you surrounded! I can't believe I actually thought you were cool. You seem so smart, but now I see you're just another immature, run-of-the-mill terrorist. We're like so over. 
Yeah, and you can just forget about your crazy little plan because you're going to have to deal with us first. Okay, you're dealt with. Oh, and while you're out there, tell Jerry I said hello. <laughs> so we could take Jerry's place and gain access to Whoop. We've got to get to Jerry before he runs out of oxygen. But how are we supposed to get over to him? Wait, I've got it. Great idea. What's your idea? I'm gonna use the tornado in a can to give us a little kick. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I guess I had the can turned the wrong way. Now take us back to the mothership. <laughs> nice. It's a good thing there's no gravity out here or Jerry would be out of luck. Come on, Jerry. You've got at least a couple more years in you. Jerry's gonna be just fine. Come on! Where could he be? Judging by that floating ocean out there, I'd say he can't be far. We've got to find the Evapo Blaster and send that water back to Earth. <gasps> I've got your Evapo Blaster right here. We gotta get that water back to Earth. Let me out of here! So, we missed our snowboarding trip, but at least we saved the world. And we saved Jerry. I never thought I'd admit it, but I was really starting to miss that old go- I mean, <laughs> mature guy. Good evening, ladies. Just wanted to stop by and officially thank you for saving my life. Don't sweat it. After all, you saved our lives, too. Still, I did want to properly show my appreciation. And so, I'm sending you on a surprise ski trip to St. Moritz. Wow, thanks! Great! Cool! But first, I have a mission for you girls. I need you to train the entire Whoop Canine Division. That is, of course, after you do your homework and clean your rooms, and I've got some filing I need to have done. No. Not again! Jerry! <laughs> Guys on it. Oh, come 
on, son. One more picture. Now smile. She's good. Very good. Sure. Saturday night would be perfect, Jason. Cool. I'll pick you up at eight. Did you see that? I'm just going to date with Jason Roberts. Mandy's going to so hate me. She's been wanting to go out with him for like... Problem. That was just the million dollar prototype for our new billion dollar surveillance satellite. Ooh. Spies, I've called you here because I've got an important assignment for you. Famous landmarks from around the world are being stolen. How does someone steal a landmark? Aren't they big and kind of connected to the ground? Well, our perpetrator has found a way to shrink them, then suck them up into the sky. We've acquired some video taken by tourists who have witnessed his events. <laughs> It seems that this thief is moving from west to east, so according to whoop calculations, the Taj Mahal is the next target. Cool, we get to go to Mexico. Uh, India. Yes, and we will be posing as diplomats. Here are your papers, credentials, and native costumes. Now, for your gadgets. Wow. Today's specials include an all-in-one lipstick and titanium extender rod. Uh, I look horrible in pinks. A locator deactivator rhinestone headband. Turbo fuel jetpack backpacks, telescopic optic 2000 sunglasses with built in cam, a laser cutter eyelash curler, and a cab bag. Is that one of those fruit flavored snacks? No, it's a climb anything dirt bike that's protein powered. What? Uh, one thing, Jerry, how long do you think this mission will take? I what? can't be sure, actually. As long as it takes for you to find and stop whoever is behind this. Well, you see, I've got this date Saturday night, so it would be better for me if we could just... <laughs> wow, that is amazing. It's even bigger than some of the houses in Beverly Hills. I don't understand why you had to lug all your clothes with you. Fashion crisis. I need to pick out what to wear on my date. Number one rule in dating, the outfit is everything. Wait, isn't that the number one rule in life? Uh-oh, seems like Jerry overlooked one little detail. How are we going to get in? We're diplomats, remember? We have papers and credentials. Huh? Huh? We're closed for renovations. No one gets in. What do we do now? I'm thinking... Four days till Jason, can you think a little faster? Yeah! Who's up for climbing? <laughs> oh. uh, how do girls move in these things? Don't worry, I can fix this. <laughs> you know, since short is last year's long, I'm thinking we market these things and make a killing. Alright you guys, let's do what we do best. Cool. Point me toward the gift shop. Place looks clean. I'm contacting Jerry and telling him that we 
Jacob's calculations are wrong. Wait, what's this? It's either a tracking device or a way cool mood ring. Let me see. if you know what we mean. But we recovered this tracking device. And to catch whoever's behind this, we need you to see if its frequency matches any other frequencies of tracking devices elsewhere in the world. Let's see. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, I'm picking up a faint signal near the Great Wall. Looks like we're Peru-bound. Uh, try China? Help me find an outfit for my date. This locator should find the tracking device, no problem. Ha! Uh -huh. Here it is. Now let's deactivate it. Like I said, let's deactivate it. Let me try. reveals this could only be the work of one man, Diminutive Smalls. Diminutive who? Smalls. 
Years ago, he was a Whoop scientist working on a formula to increase strength by reducing mass. There was a freak accident. He and his two siblings got shrunk by his own machine but gained incredible strength. It seems Diminutive has now perfected the shrinking process and wants revenge. If only he'd gotten a little therapy, then the whole world wouldn't be in this mess. We've been picking up an unusual level of radiation from a small island in the South China Sea called Jarnesia. Our experts believe he may have set up camp there. That's probably the island they were talking about. We'll check it out right away. He's dangerous, so be careful, spies. Hey, what about me? Yes, we're already working on an antidote for you, Clover. Good, because you see, in two days, I've got this date with this guy named Jason who... I know, I know. But did I tell you about the dimple he's got right in the middle of... Oh, so sorry, I, I think we're breaking up. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> steal the cities of the world, people and all, so I can have subjects to rule over. Listen, pal, you're never going to get away with this. Oh, like you're going to stop me. <laughs> all right, let's turn her into an ant. <laughs> <laughs> Size of dust particles. 
Too bad we won't be able to watch, but we've got a little city to shrink and steal called Tokyo. Maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> now what? I can't reach my gadgets. Look, my laser cutter eyelash curler shrunk along with me. This whole time, I could have had great lashes and didn't know it. On your jetpack backpacks and let's blow this joint. Wait up! There they are, and they're almost ready to go. Maybe we can destroy the blimp's steering system so smalls can't hold it in position. How did those annoying little pests get free? That's it. Hand me the portable Alpha X9. Watch out! I think he sees us! This is for, uh... Me? Yeah. Uh, okay, guys, quick, quick. Shoot me with a gun. Then I'll have just enough time before Jason shows up to change out of this awful doll outfit and into my special date outfit. Let me do it. No, let me. can't see me like this. What am I gonna do? <gasps> cancel. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have you go to the door and cancel my date. Tell him I'm sick, that I have the flu, and we'll have to reschedule. Are you sure? I mean, you could borrow something of ours. No way, girls. I've been planning my perfect outfit all week. Hi, Jason. Hi, girls. Is Clover ready? She's very sick. Spots everywhere. She's sorry, but she cannot go out with you today. That was close. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, hey, Mandy. What's going on? <gasps> How totally lame. He's actually falling for that? Jason, wait, I'm feeling much better. Those I'm glad Clover's back to her normal self. I'm not sure normal quite describes it.
candles, no rollerblading, and no littering. Littering? I was making a wish and ran out of pennies. Save it for someone who cares. Thankfully, a model citizen alerted me to this situation. It's thin, Mr. Officer. If you want, I can identify each criminal in a lineup. The only thing criminal here is your nasty haircut and faux nails. You can't believe anything she says. She's a notorious rumor spreader. Believe me, sir. I know these girls all too well. We repeat offenders and shouldn't be free to roam the mall. This poor young lady was merely doing a good deed. Here, good for 20% off anything in the mall. I'll be back with reinforcements. Wait, I didn't even do anything wrong. Oh, that's right. You didn't do anything, Miss... Miss... Sam No Fun. Sam No Fun. Cut it Sam out. No Stop fun. it. Sam right no now. You can take one home as a souvenir after your mission. Hmm. You'll have to teach me that sometime. Sure thing. Right after you get something to wrap. Now, we've uncovered something quite bizarre and troubling. It seems various world leaders have been creating dangerous thrill rides in their respective countries. Thrill rides? In Germany, the Chancellor instructed the removal of the lines on the autobahn. He also added ramps. Driving has become a reckless, road-raging bumper car speedway. In Malaysia, the Prime Minister has programmed the elevators of the Petronas Towers to drop 88 floors. <laughs> Lastly, the Brazilian President ordered tables cut on a suspended bridge. Lost loads of tourists were left dangling of a crocodile infested waters. Why would world leaders convert safe national landmarks into major danger zones? Frankly, that's what we need you to find out. The Emperor of Japan's wife is a former loop agent. Through her, you can get direct access to your husband. Japan? That's like sushi central. Let's go. I'll wait for the gadgets. One digit decoder card, one kind of Insta Freeze back off breath spray, a pocket sized protracting lip spear. The just sticky enough blue gloves, the mini wind back battery D charger, and cats. Cats? I'm more of a dog person. It stands for crystalline airtight tricep shoe. As long as it's litter box trained. Yes, very amusing. <laughs> isn't the welcoming committee. You are making one supersized mistake, Mr. Scary Japanese Guard. I just learned a mean martial arts move in gym class. <laughs> Hold it. I'm Keiko, the Emperor's wife. These are my guards. Oopsie. What do you know? This <laughs> is the welcoming committee after all. <laughs> If you need anything, Mr. Katsu will be happy to assist you. Uh, sorry, Katsu. I never valet park the designer originals. <gasps> Hello, lady. Oh, Mr. Emperor, sir, master of masters, ruler of the unruly. Goodbye, ladies. Goodbye. Okay, a uh, man, a few words? Too few. I got a feeling there's something he's not telling us. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's get to the bottom of this. An entire pal 
palace filled with neat stuff. And we're stuck in this oratorium. Uh-oh. <gasps> Could be the Emperor. Get out your just sticky enough gloves. You're sure these gloves are sticky enough? Gestures the battery charger. It's like he's some kind of animatron or something. Animal what? Uh huh. Just as I suspected, the gloves weren't sticky enough. God. <laughs> must find my husband. He may be in great danger. We'll do everything we can, Your Highness. Whoever abducted the real Emperor must be using a signal to control the animatronic Emperor. We just need a way to track the signal. Wait, I've got it. A compact? It's a gadget from my spy days. That thing is anything but light. A compact with a satellite dish. A compactor light. Regardless, it should track the signal. <laughs> You can borrow the family jet. It's very fast. mysteriously disappear. Sorry, girls, but the park is closed. Hello, intruders. Welcome to my one secret laboratory. I am Dr. Eisenstein. Dr. Eisenstein? Yeah, I know. With a name like Eisenstein, I knew I'd either have to be a genius or create a monster. So, Doc, why replace all the world's leaders with your robots to show off your hidden talent? Hardly. I've been making animatrons into a little girl going to amusement parks just to have fun. You mean Sam used to have fun? Sam no fun! Sam no fun! Sam no fun. Sam My no fun. animatrons were the best! Then came this new invention. Children, rather move around up there. 
Joystick, Joystick, then see a life like swashbuckling tyrant. So you thought you'd get back in the biz by kidnapping world leaders and replacing them with your machine gun? No, I decided to take revenge by making my version of the greatest rulers and programming him to be hazardous thrill rides. <laughs> my personal amusement park completely negatively destroys itself. Your average evil doctor takes over the world plan. Look at me. I've been having all the fun so far. Don't worry, girl. I promise to make it up to you by letting you try my favorite ride in the park. Now, allow me to explain how the ride works. When the car you are in gets up to 15 rotations, the ride will blow up. In other words, after the explosion, my cotton candy will have more of a form than you girls. And remember to keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. You wouldn't want to get it. <laughs> Sarcastic much? world leaders in their drab gray suits, would it kill them to throw a little white into their wardrobes? Don't worry, we're going to return you all to your countries. Now, all we have to do is return the leaders and deactivate the animatrons before Eisenstein realizes he's lost his trailer. First stop, Malaysia. But how are we going to find the Malaysian animatron? Turn the Petronas Towers elevators into a deadly ride on the whoop tape Jerry showed us, and that's where we're headed. Okay, so how exactly does one go about deactivating an animatron? This mini lint back battery decharger should suck the life out of it. The only problem is how do we get close enough? Hmm. the battery. How techno lame. Doesn't he know it's like a cell phone? No juice, no use. That's it. Huh? What's it? Your cell phone. We can use the power from that. Here, give it to me. What if I get a really important call? Here you go. Now be careful. It might be slightly more powerful. Excuse me, huh? Mr. Prime Minister, sir. Yes, soldier. Um, are my medals on correctly? Back off, you creep! Get out of the way! He's gonna blow! That's one down. Now let's take care of the rest of the world. Where to next? The land down under? I don't know about under, but we'll 
unless he built himself, but I don't see how. My head hurts. The real life of the Eisenstein created me in his image before he passed on. It was his way of being in... Immature? Immortal. But unfortunately, he programmed me to self-destruct if I ever gave out that information. Well, girls, it was fun for a class. Okay, that was like totally unexpected. Look, this must control the animatrons. Hopefully, that's the end of Dr. Eisenstein's robots forever. Let's get inside the plane and get these leaders home. Hello? Anybody home? Ugh. Thank you so much for saving my husband. Yes. Excellent work, girls. It was our pleasure. Yeah. It was the least we could do for a fellow whoop spy. You girls should take a vacation after that assignment. Why bother? We've been every place in the world in the last 24 hours. Every place except home. This week on Troy's Mayu. <laughs> what gives, you lame -os? Let's go to the rollerblade park. You want to go to the rollerblade park? Yeah, all that talk about thrill rides got me psyched up to have fun. Go away. I'm white. Rain. <sighs> You're right. You should stay home, blob out, and order some yummy takeout. Love it! <gasps> Hello? Yes, I'd like to order egg rolls, shrimp fried rice, and some Clover and Alex No Fun. Oh, Clover no. and Alex No Fun. Clover and Alex No Fun. Hey, this is fun. Clover and Alex No Fun. Oh, Clover and Alex No Fun. Clover and Alex, no fun. <laughs> I'll eat my dust. Yeah, everything looks good in East Wing. Over and out. Hey, who's there? Robbie Guthrie. Who? Robbie Guthrie, as in my grade school nemesis. Girls, our perfect day has just been ruined by a dark cloud. I think he's kind of cute. Cute? Alex, the guy is a total loser. He tormented me for years. He was always doing mean things to me, like pulling my pigtails and putting kick me signs on my back and shoving worms in my lunchbox. Well, get over it already. Grade school was like a really long time ago. Yeah, Clover, people change. Oh, please. I'm sure he's the same old jerk I knew in third grade. As a matter of fact, I'm going over there right now to give him a piece of my mind. This should be good. Robbie Guthrie? Clover? Clover? Is it really you? The one and only. NPS, you can stop drooling any time. Sorry, it's just you look a lot cuter than you did in grade school. Whatever. I'm serious. As a matter of fact, why don't you let me take you out this weekend? We can catch a movie and get reacquainted. I don't know. Come on. It's the least I could do for being such a jerk to you when we were kids. Oh, no. Okay, let's do it. Great. I'll call you. <laughs> so, what happened? I'm going on a date with Robbie. Okay, that was unexpected. Way to let go of the past. Clover. Uh, yeah, are you kidding? I'm only going out with that creep so I can get back at him. I'm gonna give Robbie a taste of his own medicine. Now, how shall I do it? This better be important. I've got some serious revenge wanting to do. Oh, 
It's important, all right. Someone's destroying energy banks around the globe. Wow, creepy. Indeed. Not only have we lost the Hoover Dam, we've lost several electrical and nuclear power plants as well. Actually, the creepy thing I was talking about was the fact that you were eavesdropping on our conversation. People will soon be without heat and electricity. It's sure to be chaos in the streets. And I wasn't eavesdropping, I just happened to overhear. So, who do you think's behind this, Jer? We don't have any leads yet, but we'd better come up with something quick as the effects of this crisis are quite disturbing. The next suspected target is the South American Pipeline. That's where your mission will begin, Spies. Then, what are we waiting for? Load us up! Of course. Today you'll be utilizing the Whoop Turbo Submarine, the expandable cable bungee belt, now in a more stylish faux snakeskin, heat sensor 6000 infrared motion detector sunglasses, and a tube of high-gloss moisturizing lip stalk. You mean lipstick? No, I mean lip stalk. A lipstick with a built-in tracking device. Excellent! Now, prepare for departure. <laughs> This is just too good to be true. So, let me get this straight. You used to have our jobs? Until we were captured by the villain on our last mission. Edison. He held us prisoner on a remote crater island for seven years. Judging by those outfits, I'd have guessed it was even longer. <laughs> we looked everywhere for you girls. And when we didn't hear from you after a few years, we assumed you were, well, you know. Well, we're back now, Jerry. And everything's going to be just like old times. I was hoping you'd say that. Whatever happened to Edison? We were able to escape, but we weren't able to capture him. Unfortunately, he could be anywhere. And how did you end up at the pipeline exactly? <laughs> Spies, we've got another emergency. This time it's a hydroelectric plant. We're all over it, dear. Actually, this would be a terrific opportunity to reassimilate Pab and her crew. Why don't you all go on the mission together? Okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> movie on Saturday night. What's all that noise? Oh, I'm at a salon under the hairdryer. A monster movie sounds great. Um, I'll meet you at the mall around 8-ish. Later. I'm picking up something. So am I, Saturday. 
Saturday night. <laughs> Sorry. I hate spiders. Why can't it be a ladybug or a butterfly bomb instead? Wow. Isn't this place so cool? <gasps> no! Not the bomb. Oops. Sorry. my pleasure to have known Sam, Clover, and Alex. No, that's not right. I was fortunate enough to have known Sam, Clover, Don't and Alex. Don't people generally write eulogies after someone bites the big one? Girls, you're alive! And ready to get back on this case. Actually, I have wonderful news. You're officially retired. My original spies have taken your place. I don't want to be retired. I never even got a chance to have a midlife crisis. It's a done deal. Now you'll get a chance to enjoy your lives like regular teens. And the world is in the capable hands of Pam, Alice, and Crimson. There's something real fishy about those girls. Whatever are you talking about? Think about it. Why did they just reappear at the pipeline? And why did they know their way around the hydroelectric plant? I think I understand what's happening here. You do? Yes. Obviously, you girls are jealous of my original spies. Who can blame you? They're wonderful. But I trust those girls unconditionally. Might I suggest them acclimating back to civilian life, Seminar? Us? Jealous? As if! Those girls are dirty. I wouldn't be surprised if they were planting bombs as we speak. Actually, they're in Eastern Europe, aiding civilians in the rebuilding of their destroyed power plants. I gave them their gadgets and they left a couple of hours ago. Those girls never pass up a humanitarian mission. On second thought, I think we would like to take that seminar chair. Mind if we hop a whoop jet? My car is in the shop. Not a problem. Spy wannabes are stealing our jobs. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. Get real. We're not going to any seminar. I have a hunch those spies aren't on a humanitarian mission. I just hope Jerry's gadgets included lip stock. Bingo. Good thinking. Looks like our girls are on Crater Island in the Arabian Sea. Isn't that where they said they were held captive all these years? Yeah, which is odd considering the island has been barren since a volcano erupted there ten years ago. Let's check it out. Can't 
teach an old spy new tricks. I can't believe you traitors have the nerve to call yourselves whoop spies. Really? Where's your pride? <sighs> it's not quite so simple, ladies. You see, when I first met the spies many years ago, they were wasting their time fighting for the cause of good. I then liberated them with my behavior modifying electronic spinal splints. Now they are helping me pursue much worthier causes. Ew, and I thought belly button piercings look painful. Why do I suspect your goals aren't all that worthy? You be the judge. Half the world's power plants are now inoperable. Soon, they'll all be reduced to rubble. Destruction for the sake of destruction? It doesn't make any sense. To the contrary, it makes dollars and cents. When I extort the nations of the world for the use of solar power. Ouch. I thought Jerry's puns were bad. Duh. The sun is free, Einstein. Uh, correction. The sun was free. And it's Edison. With my orbital override machine, I can control the Earth's rotation and sell sunlight by the hour to the highest bidder. <laughs> oh, time to go to my ocean platform and start the auction. So long, girls, and uh, no hard feelings. Yeah, don't hate us because we're the better spies. Don't worry, we've got plenty of other reasons to hate you. Well, this should be easy to get out of. Usually the bad guys leave us in a hopeless predicament. <laughs> Hello, ladies. So very lovely to hear from you. Jerry, you've got to help us. Wait a second. You're not the real spies. Huh? This line is only to be used by legitimate group agents. Liquid nitrogen breath spray. Good thing I always carry a backup gadget. Come on, let's go save the world. I think that's quite enough sunlight for Russia. But they paid for two hours and it's only been an hour. Prices have just gone up. Besides, I wouldn't mind a little sun for myself.
better now than you have been for the past seven years. Oh, hey! Edison's getting away! Not so fast. <laughs> Isn't there any way I can convince you girls to stay with Hoop? <laughs> Sorry, Jerry. We've had enough Hoop adventures for one lifetime. Besides, we decided we wanted to help rebuild the world's energy plants. I can't help but feel a little responsible. Um, hurry up and fix the plant in Beverly Hills by Saturday night because <laughs> I have a totally hot day. <laughs> Thanks for helping us out <laughs> and for all the cool fashion tips. Hope you're not angry about the nasty things we said about you. Well, we weren't really ourselves. Don't worry about it. We understand. Yeah, we forgive you. Um, now, Jerry, on the other hand. You're serious? You decided to give Robbie the benefit of the doubt. That's right. I'm giving up my plans for revenge. If there's one thing I've learned this week, it's that people can definitely change. I'm so proud of you, Clover. Clover, you made it. Hey, Robbie. I'll catch you girls later. Have a seat. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> I can't believe it! I can still get the best of you after all these years! <laughs> we'll just see about that. what our overall body mass would weigh on Mercury. Would that be with or without your MIG pins? <laughs> hmm. <gasps> I wonder what everyone in school would think of your secret club. I think I'll go huh? take a poll. Oh, hold it! Nigel, keep lookout. You wouldn't be interested. It's just a boring club that does boring boy things. That's why girls aren't allowed. Hello! I'm not just any girl. If you want your club to have any credibility whatsoever, you need a member like yours, truly. And I won't take no for an answer. Okay. We'll have to check with the QB and get back with you. Yeah, you do that. But don't take too long. So I said I won't take no for an answer, and he said he'd have to check with the QB. Whatever that means. Wow, a secret club. That sounds so mysterious and exciting, Clover. Yeah. Now, what exactly does this club do again? Who knows what those geeks do, and who cares? The point is, no one shuts Clover out of any campus club. <laughs> Some seniors probably stuffed a freshman in the closet as a prank. They used to stuff me behind the soda machine. about that, ladies. Sometimes the whoop tunnels get a bit crossed up. Do us a favor and uncross them before you whoop us again, Jer. Girls, allow me to introduce you to my new assistant, Dinah. Hi. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. I'm thoroughly impressed with your work. Thanks. Welcome to the whoop team. It has come to Whoop's attention that there has been a silent and disturbing phenomena occurring across the world, and it has now reached the United States. Wow, can you get the shopping channel on that thing? 
It seems that peaceful women are suddenly acting aggressively, lashing out at friends, co-workers, and strangers. Each light on the map represents where attacks have occurred. Wow, that's a lot of lights. Precisely. We haven't been able to get to the bottom of this anomaly. That's where you girls come in. Thank you, Dan. I don't know how I got along without you. Now for the gadgets. Expandable cable bungee belts, wind tunnel 3000 tornado blast hair dryer, 24 exposure mini barrette camera, coil rope hair bun, and the ever faithful jetpack backpacks. <gasps> Look how cute this little camera is! <sighs> how about some tea, Donna? And some of those wonderful homemade cookies you brought in. I recommend ginseng. It'll give you a nice, healthy energy boost. <laughs> weird. The receptionist said she was in. I say we take this opportunity to look for some clues. Keep an eye on the door. <laughs> Miss Jones? Did that ruffian woman send you to finish me off? No. As a matter of fact, we're from Wolf and we're investigating your case. <laughs> oh my! Good luck finding a turtleneck that'll fit over that thing. Um, uh, Miss Jones, do you have any idea what provoked your attacker? Maybe all the orange you were wearing made her go berserk. <laughs> you know, like red makes bulls crazy. I've always found my outfit to be very soothing. It's almost as if the very fact that I was selling beauty products infuriated her. All of a sudden, her eyes, they started glowing red and she put me in a headlock. Hmm. Us right here on the lanes. So you didn't provoke the attack? <laughs> Not unless minding your own business provokes them. The strangest thing was, Mrs. Dinsmore, the alley owner, she was one of them. I've never seen her act like that before. Okay, that bowling shirt is enough to send anyone into a fit of rage. Maybe we should check Mrs. Dinsmore's office for clues. <laughs> Let's see if the alley security system recorded the attack. Look, the women are using wrestling moves to thrash those bowlers, just like in Miss Jones's police report. Okay, I'm getting a distinct wrestling vibe from all these attacks. If only we could figure out the connection. Hey guys, check out this screensaver. W O W. Hey, that's the same invitation I got earlier today, but it's addressed to Mary Tinsmore. I think we might have just found that wrestling connection you were looking for, Sammy. Huh, it's invitation only. Looks like you guys are gonna have to find another way in. No prob, come on out. Invitation? Uh -huh. Welcome to the show, sister. Amazon's left any clues back here. 
Just keep a low profile. I don't want to end up on the wrong end of one of their headlocks. The last night of recruiting is upon us. The sisterhood shall finally prevail. There's an air vent above the door. This is it. <laughs> There's more junk in here than in Jerry's closet. from you, but this isn't the time. Oh, it's nothing like that. I just wanted to tell you that I heard you wanted to join that secret boys club. Wait, how do you know about that? Oh, please. I'm only like the most in-the-know person at Beverly High. So, what's it to you? Just an FYI, I've been putting pressure on the boys to allow you to join. Us girls have to stick together. Later. I wonder what she's trying to pull. Sam turned into a raging nutcase and attacked us. Oh my, that isn't good. Jerry, do you have any info on something called the Sisterhood? I suggest we check Whoop's worldwide database. Let me bring it up for you. Thank you, Dinah. <coughs> well, it appears the Sisterhood is an ancient group of warrior women. Long believed to be a myth, their goal was to be the supreme rulers of the Earth by eliminating all men and weak females. Thanks, Jer. We're going to send you digital images of some clues we just collected. Excellent. Ta-ta. This whole sisterhood business sounds like a bunch of superstitious garbage to me. I don't know. Sam was acting pretty freaky. <laughs>
well, with a little help from Dinah. It seems the Sisterhood Stone must be used when the first full moon of fall appears. This year it lands on November 2nd. What? At midnight tonight? We have less than two hours to stop Ariel and save Sam. Well then, you'd better get going. trying to ruin my plans. You're calling us pathetic? You're the one trying to take over the world with wrestling. Bring them to the proving ground. I don't like the sound of that. I've waited too long for this night to let it be spoiled by a pair of hyperactive teenage brats. <sighs> Sam! Extinction to the unworthy. They say you only hurt the ones you love. Your spy girlfriend is going to prove that truth. <laughs> 11.50. We only have ten minutes left to stop Ariel. Sam, snap out of it. It's us, Alex and Clover. Remember, we're your best friends in the whole wide world. Enemies of the sisterhood are no friends of mine. Okay, Sam, the bloodshot eyes and the hidden thing is getting a little old. Perfect alignment of the universe is mere minutes away. I will awaken our fellow sisters worldwide, and we will rise up and take what is rightfully ours. Long live the sisterhood. Long live the sisterhood. Long live the sisterhood. What? You've been under Ariel's hypnotic trance since the wrestling show. You're one of the chosen ones. Why would I be a chosen one? Blame your great, great, great grandmother. She was a chosen one. It's in your blood. That is superstitious nonsense. There must be some other explanation. Okay, that's what I thought at first. But two seconds ago, your eyes were glowing and you were trying to pummel us. <gasps> the mud must be blocking up the power of Ariel's stone. <gasps> we only have three minutes to stop Ariel.
long as she's gone. Something tells me we haven't seen the last of Ariel. Where are we going? Hurry up! It's a big surprise. secret club to anyone, to uphold the MIG code of honor, and, above all else, promise your love and support to the QB? Um, I guess so. Then by the power vested in me as your appointed leader, I swear you in and declare you an official member of MIG. All right, this is more like it. Now, does someone want to tell me what this QB business is all about? You mean the Queen Bee? The queen of M.I.G.? Okay, so what's M.I.G.? Mandy is great! Our club celebrates the most beautiful girl in school. <laughs> Mandy's the QB? Of course I am! Now, for your initiation. Massage my feet with this duck feather. It's the only thing that relaxes me after a long day at school. Let me out There's of no here! Out. Once you're in, you're a member for life. A former Whoop agent. Uh, I've been assigned to be your nanny. Nanny! We're not catching flies, ladies. Mouths closed. Uh, excuse me. Um, we don't need a nanny. Apparently, Jerry thinks you do. And judging by the way you keep house, I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> Seriously, a nanny? But we're like teenagers! Precisely why responsibility must be reinforced. If you abide by a few simple rules, you'll hardly know I'm here. Um, exactly what kind of rules? <laughs> Unless on Whoop business, curfew is at nine, junk food will not be tolerated, and there will be no telephone privileges until all homework is Yeah, like, like confirming a date. No, oh, yes, that reminds me. No boys. Good morning, ladies. I trust you. Tyranny, 
Thank you, Gladys. Lady, please, allow me to explain. Mrs. Beesbottom's presence is not punishment. In fact, I only have your best interests in mind. Our oh, best interests there! Ah, ta, ta, ta. Independence can be alluring, but you need to focus on your missions. Which brings us to the business at hand. Highly irregular meteor activity over the last 72 hours. Shooting stars? Can you say big deal? Actually, Clover, a great many of these have struck the Earth, including, most recently, a major observatory. Since most meteors are smaller than a pebble and burn up in the atmosphere, I'm guessing these would have to be huge. Precisely. Whoop is inclined to believe that there is something sinister at hand. Yes, I'm in. Anything's better than playtime with Nanny yells a lot. Very well, then. Gladys? Dispensing gadgets. Magno Gogo -Go boots will allow you to walk on metallic surfaces. Ice cream perfume will freeze any object on contact. And one other item. Oh, you're giving us a car? This so makes up for the nanny thing, Jer. The remote will provide you with a direct link to Mrs. B's bottom. It's impervious to interference, and the blinking red light indicates a message is waiting. Oh, great. Reach out and annoy someone. Oh. Well, I expect you to behave on this mission. Remember, you're representing who? The World Organization of Human Protection. Well, I think we get the gist. Another meteor. Let's get you to your ship. Ship? Good ship! Russian boys we saved from a fiery doom gave us any digits? 
No, the part where all these meteors seem to be targeting spacey types. Hey, you're right! First the guy at the observatory, then the cosmonauts. But why? Alex! <laughs> didn't just yell our names across campus. When I go through the trouble of making you a nutritious lunch, the least you can do is remember to take it with you. But we had a... No excuses. Sam, turkey and sprouts, clover, roast beef on rye. Hello, vegetarian. Very well. Peanut butter and jelly crusts removed. Hey, no fair. Life isn't fair. Now run along and study. Oh, this is so humiliating. It could be worse. At least no one saw us. Oh, sweet. I wish my nanny cut my crust off. Oh, wait, that's right. I don't have a nanny. Oh. Well, at least not since I was like six. <laughs> oh yeah, well, I I I gotta take this call. Ladies? It appears the meteorite sample you sent has been exposed to an extremely powerful magnetic field. Tons of cosmic anomalies can cause that. True, but so can a Teradyne 4000 magnetic flux resonator, one of which happens to be aboard the recently decommissioned Global Space Station. So if no one is up there, who's throwing the rocks? <gasps> Maybe it's aliens. There's only one way to find out. Dear, of course I know. I've just enough time to finish up here before I have to skedaddle. Um, finish up what? Oh, just a little plan to exact revenge on the station's final crew. Crew that should have included me! <laughs> Maybe it's time you got your air tanks checked. My ruling house was in perfect alignment, but then some star decided that he could take my place in line. Well, I guess you'll learn that when you grab the comet's tail, you get burned. So you're responsible for all those meteorite attacks. Correct again, my star. And you're doing all this because you didn't get picked to go into space? <laughs> According to my chart, it was my destiny. And now that countless <laughs> kid will pay. Talibus? Ricky Rickerson is a totally gifted singer slash dancer. Now step away from that thingy. <laughs> I should keep you out of my way long enough. <laughs> you won't get away with this! Oh, my cherubs. According to my charts, I already have. And they never lie. Oh, yeah? <laughs> A few little modifications was all it took. Now I have my very own Space Age slingshot. <laughs> the 
targeting system. So I'm afraid Rocket Boy's moon has set. Not if we get there first. By my calculations, that should prove most impossible. Oh, really? Why? Our Venus isn't rising? No, I'm taking your ship. Mine's damaged beyond repair. And I would hate to miss our little star's newest hit. <laughs> Lady, because I'm predicting. Damn! Oh, second thought, maybe I should check my horoscope. You know, she really gives TV astrologers a bad name. Let's go get her! Impressive. 
But I have something much more powerful. Star power! And you know what the most powerful star is, don't you girls? The sun! olives with extra cheese, I presume? Jerry! Uh, where's Mrs. B's bottom? In hindsight, a nanny was a bit excessive. Since you've proved you're able to ask for help when you really need it, I think you'll do fine on your own. However, I should inform you that I've instructed Gladys to keep an eye on you. Gladys? How can she do that? was going to be fun. Here's the thing. Even though we live on our own, we need rules. Because without <gasps> rules, there's chaos. Hello? Look around this place. It's a total dump. <laughs> if we follow this chart, the house will be clean in no time. Clover, you're on bathroom duty. Ew, it smells in there. Alex, since today is the second odd Wednesday of the month, you get to clean the gutters. Okay. That's better. Time to find out. Okay, how come you're not on the chart? <sighs> that is the kind of attitude that got this house messy in the first place. Now let's get training.
this clean? No, I call it gunk. Girls, what an unexpected pleasure. Except for the fact that we're all in your bathroom. Jerry, we need to talk. <laughs> Nice to see you, girls. Cool tank! It's filled with specimens from the Indian Ocean. And nasty fish gunk. Not for long. Oh, Gladys! Hey, Jer, does she go backwards? And gutters? I don't do gutters. Neither does Alex. I see that living together has done wonders for your friendship. Okay, get this. We were cleaning the house because Miss Slave Driver here is totally against fun. And then? And then this crazed mailman smashed a hole through our wall. And then he threw a fridge at us. But the weirdest thing is he just disappeared without a trace. Oh, hey. Maybe he did leave a trace. Quite sure. It's an unknown metal-based substance that has been traced to three locations. You girls will look for clues at its source. Please be somewhere fabulous. The first is a sulfur mine in northern Uzbekistan. you. The second is a sewage treatment facility in New Brunswick. <gasps> we'll take number three. A wise choice. You girls are off to an abandoned wheat factory. <laughs> On this mission, you will have the following gadgets. The Wind Tunnel 9000 hairdryer, the Biolab watch, and our newest device, the Quick Slick. Gladys, if you would. I apologize in advance. Why did she apologize? Because the Quick Slick is equipped with a supply of extra slippery crude oil. Press here. Ah! style never hurt. That's something you girls will never understand. <laughs> Look who I found! A real mailman! So you were behind the attack at our house? You are good. Save your breath. I'm not going to explain it. Let's call Jerry to send someone to pick up Scam. Then we have got to get home to separate our recyclables. Nasty cold. 
pulsar that never seems to go away. So what are taffy? It's full of energy for soccer practice. What one? I say no thanks, and my dentist says no thanks. Ah! Come on already, we need to practice. Remember our co-ed. <laughs> Just try and stop me. <laughs> make things into nastier versions of themselves. What's that all about? Sorry. Um, running for your life sure builds up an appetite. Hey, back off! Uh-oh. What now? Oh, it's only you, Arnold. Hey, girls. Great to see you here. Now we can all study for next week's test together. Yeah, that's an idea, Arnold. Why don't you run to the cap and pick us up some study muffins? Hey, what's happening back there?
This must be serious. You better believe it, Jerry! <laughs> He's safely locked up in his usual isolation, so... Don't tell me he's turned invisible. Mind if we crash your little party? Sam! What are you doing with that lowlight? <laughs> this isn't Sam. This is something better, stronger, meaner. What happened to the real Sam? <laughs> I don't know. Don't care. Then why is she cleaning Jerry's office? For, uh, reasons beyond your understanding. And like all of my metal clones, she exists for one reason. To destroy... Whoop. <laughs> Not so fast, agents. Behold, Scamlar. Scamlar? Oh, that'll really catch on. Oh, where does the time go? They grow up so fast, don't they?
<laughs> Unhand me, you metallic piece of trash. So, must I take such an insult? No, Gladys. Deal with him as you see fit. We better get back and find out where Sam is. Maybe you could bring her back here. This office is a mess. <laughs> I go on a few dates. What? Uh, a few dates? I thought we were going shopping. This will take all day. No, it won't. Trust me. It's called hypersonic dating. Hyper what? Who dating? It makes speed dating look like a long-term commitment. Huh? I'll be done in a sec. Huh? So, what's your sign? I'm sad. Uh-huh, okay. Thanks. Uh, and what kind of music do you like? Um, wow, me too. On a date, we'd rather go dancing, rollerblading, or stay in and watch a movie. Take your time. <laughs> Time's up. Clover hmm. <laughs> is going to be through a year's worth of guys before the day is out. She's going to be through before I'm done with my lawn test. That's it. Let's go shopping. Uh, huh. I hope she doesn't mean hypersonic shopping. Number three, nine, and 14 all get second dates. <gasps> I'm gonna date all of them for an entire minute to get to know them better. So you can have a new boyfriend by lunch and break up with him by dinner time and make up with him before the mall closes. Isn't this the best?
cloud, I might add. Did you notice anything about that gadget he used on us? It was almost an exact copy of the Wind Tunnel 9000 Tornado Blast hairdryer. I better call Jerry. Okay, either my ex powder isn't working or Jerry's not answering. Ugh, hasn't he heard of call waiting? It's like he's living in the past. We'll just have to go to Whoop and see him in person. <laughs> Jerry's giving Whoop a facelift and forgot to tell us. Hey, check out the weird new kind of rollerblades. Alex, that's the old kind. Jerry must be disguising Whoop as a roller rink. See? Always living in the past. Still no answer on the X-Powder. You think he shut down Whoop and went on vacation? Let's find out. without telling us? That would mean we're fired! So instead of firing us in person, he just stops calling? Oh, he is such a boy. Forget it, Sam. He's not going to answer. I'm trying to tap into the police network. Sam, this is no time to file a missing person report. This is bigger than just Jerry. Whoop is missing. And I bet that disco van in the purple cloud has something to do with it. Here it is. That freaky van has been involved in two robberies. Both at electronics stores. So they're targeting electronics. Good. At least we know where to expect them to hit next. <laughs> Stakeouts are so boring. I know. I'll set up some more hypersonic dates. Ugh, that'll take longer than the dates themselves. What's the deal? My phone is cutting out. <laughs> Clover, turn it off! It's starting again! for the mothership to pick you up. Oh, Mandy? What? I'm Phoebe, but I like that name. Maybe I'll name my first daughter Mandy. <laughs> Stop messing with us, Mandy. What happened to Beverly Hills, and what is up with your hippie get -up? Don't be such a square man. Fashion is just a lot of superficial jive. Here, I wrote a column about it in the school paper. 
Days! It's like we're on another planet. Not another planet, another time! Check out the date on this paper. It's 1975. <gasps> we're in the 70s? That means no cell phones or CDs or personal computers. It's like prehistoric times. And all the guys I'm hypersonic dating, they're not even born yet. Guys, calm down. That van must have jumped through some kind of time portal and we did too. That means we can get back to our own century. But in the meantime, let's not attract any more attention. How do I look? <laughs> can you say groovy? Not bad. Styles may come and go, but I look fabulous in just about anything. <laughs> oh, I wonder if the X-Powder works on the car. Hey, it does work. Jerry makes the best gadgets. The tracker says the van is this way. Take a left into this parking lot. It looks like the time machine is at a loading dock in the back, so we'll go in the front. What's this? Too big to be a cell phone. That's an eight-track cassette. It's like a primitive CD. This is a phone. Whoa, Alex, look out! <gasps> Alex, are you okay? Get me out of this weird chair! All these seventies gadgets are just like gadgets, whoop gadgets. Yeah, they're just slightly ahead of their time. <laughs> Turkeys on the flip side give you any trouble? Look, mellow out, man. Everything's out of sight, all right? Got enough groovy parts for hundreds of far-out gadgets, and the new time-space foggy meter works even better than a prototype. Right on. Slide me some skin, man. Right on. <gasps> what are they talking about? There's something creepy about that driver. I don't know what it is, but he's... Look. Hey, who are these foxy ladies and how'd they know my name, eh? Dig it! They're evil spies from the future! But don't worry. Mm. Our disco chicks got all the kung fu moves. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, we're trained in kung fu. <laughs> change the mood with my mood ring. No way, Jerry! You're not using a gadget on us! <laughs> what are you gonna do now, Jerry? Stop us with lame 70s music? Agents. Actually, since we're in the past, you should be starting Whoop right about now. Look, if you know about the World Organization of Human Protection, then you must be from the future, since BG and I haven't started Whoop yet, man. BG? Boogie Gus, the boss man of Whoop and genius inventor of time travel. Yeah, what's with that? Why are you stealing technology from the future? To get a jump on you evildoers, of course. That was BG's idea, too. I'll take it from here, man. Get the van ready so we can book it out of this time zone. Hey! <gasps> Listen, Booger Gus, you may have Jerkon, but we know he's the one that started Whoop. Yeah, and frankly, you don't look smart enough to invent a time machine. <laughs> Whoop, the World Organization of Harmon People, is my own far out and solid idea. But you're right, Jerry did invent the time machine, and I was smart enough to steal it. <gasps> I'm from the future, like you, and I worked at Whoop too. As part of the custodial staff, I snagged the time machine when no one was looking and brought it back to the 70s. Why'd you pick such a lame decade to travel to? To get to Jerry before he started the real group. Foxy and intelligence. Right on. Besides, the 70s rule because that's when disco started. I 
was the greatest disco dancer ever. Check it! Geeky, but not bad. So you're bringing disco back to the future? That is beyond evil and beyond tacky. <laughs> and I'll be the only one with Jerry's gadgets. Um, what's so terrible about a thick, cushy rug other than that yucky color? I mean, that is the deepest pile shag rug in the world. Once you're in deep enough, you won't be able to breathe. <gasps> well, got a boogie. Maintain, ladies. See ya. What do want to be? Ew! We're going to be killed by an ugly carpet? Would you feel better if we were killed by one of Jerry's own gadgets? <gasps> Jerry's gadgets! Wait, I picked up his mood ring during the fight! I got it here somewhere. Um, hurry, Alex! Uh, um, I think I got it! <gasps> now, how does it work? <gasps> <laughs> nice work, Alex, but we're still stuck in the past. BG and Jer must have taken their time machine to the present. No, wait! This looks like the thingy that came out of the van. <sighs> it must be the prototype time machine that Jerry was talking about. Well, be the Stone Age. Ready? Let's go! Uh, oh no! We're not still in the 70s, are we? Welcome to Studio Woop, Foxes. Oh no, it's the evil spies. My mini new mood ring. It's gone. <laughs> You won't get away with this. My whoop agents will stop you. Listen, Jer, we are your whoop agents. BG doesn't stand for Boogie Gus, it stands for Bad Guy. The time machine was your invention in the 21st century, and BG stole it. He tricked you, Jerry. Look, here's what the present is supposed to look like. Oh, wow, man. What happened to my hair? Private party in my DJ booth? Party's over, Disco Dud. Jerry's back on our side now. <laughs> He's all yours. Now that I have all the boss gadgets, check you later. Ah! He's locked us in! What do you think he meant by check you later? Ah! Ah! Jerry, quick! Tell us you have some gadgets. Any gadgets. Well, we have these roller skates, ah! but I don't see how... Alex! The mini nuke mood ring! from ever happening. Oh, out of sight! Chicks are popping up out of nowhere! Bummer, man. Jerry should be right here. No! Can there be two 
two chairs at once? Back to normal, but where's Jerry? <laughs> also back to normal. Oh, the old Jerry back! <clears throat> yes, the old Jerry. Yes. Shame I couldn't keep my hair. <laughs> the afro was not a good look for you, Jer. Okay, just so we're clear, we're in our own time now, and everything's like it was? Everything is as it should be. The time travel project has been discontinued. Or rather, it was never started. It's all rather complicated. As I said, everything is as it should be. Though I did keep the mini nuke mood ring. Rather a charming little gadget, don't you think? Uh. <laughs> Hurry, dear. I want to get some organic hemp underwear before they're sold out. Mom! Would you start living in the 21st century already? Nice to see everything's back to normal at the mall. Even Clover. Hey, Clover, don't you have to be on, like, 50 dates in the next half hour? Yeah, what happened to hypersonic dating? Oh, please, that is so five minutes ago. Ultra slow dating is the way to go now. I'm spending all week with Eric. Mm -hmm. Wow, when does it start? It's already started. Eric is just two hours late. Two hours? And you're not mad? Please, of course not. There's no need to rush our relationship. Now, I don't want to be rude, but you know, I'm on a date. Uh, okay. Well, we'll just go ultra slow shopping then. I feel so out of touch. If I were to go out with a boy, how would I even know what kind of date we're on? I guess we're just a couple old fashioned girls, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly his thing. I'm on it. Oh, wow! He's gorgeous. Je Guillaume. And apparently, he's French, which makes him twice as gorgeous. I bet my parents sent him as a gift. They're in France right now. Hi, I'm Appel Alex. I savoured your lifeo. Clover, s'il vous plaît to meet you, Monsieur Guillaume. Give it up, girls. Your French is très lame. Maintenant, je vais retourner au travail. Give it up. Are you kidding? I, I can, can totally, totally tell, tell he, he digs me. me. He was talking to me. As if. Well, I saved him. Well, he wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for me. It's official. You're both completely insane. Whoa! <laughs> Apologies for summoning you so early, but I have an exciting announcement to make. 
I'm getting married. Married? Oh, I, I admit it's quite sudden, but why waste time when you know it's meant to be? Smoochy poo! Myrna Peasbottom, our ex nanny is smoochy poo? Okay, obviously this insanity thing is contagious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, girls. So terribly wonderful to see you again. <laughs> mm. Can you believe I had a tire blow out in the middle of the desert that out of nowhere Myrna was there to save me? Um, not exactly my idea of kismet, but then again, I'm me and you're you, so, uh, <laughs> way to go, dear. Yeah, congrats. Now, the wedding is in a few hours, and I'll need your assistance. Alex, you'll be in charge of the invites, clover, decorations, and Sam, the flowers. Uh. Gladys? Here are your wedding essentials. This is so exciting. Oh, totally. Like, who better to decorate a wedding than moi? Who can time true love, Sam? Now, chop, chop. Clock is ticking. OK, hello. Am I the only one who thinks this whole thing is happening way too fast? <laughs> Bridesmaid's dress. It's supposed to be ugly. How else can the bride look good? Not the dress, the wedding. I mean, Jerry hardly knows Myrna, and in case you've forgotten, she is a mega pain in the butt. <laughs> Which is exactly why they're perfect for each other. I know. I can't believe we didn't think of hooking these two up sooner. <sighs> Friends, loved ones, spies. We are gathered here for the joining of these two agents. I think we should get Jerry out of the sun ASAP. He's all burned. I think someone's a little jealous of his happy glow. I think both of you should shush so I can hear. Do you, Myrna Beesbottom, take Jerry Lewis to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. <gasps> and do you, Jerry Lewis, take Myrna Beesbottom to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do I? By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Jerry! Hang on, dear! Don't worry, dear! I'm coming! I got you, dear! Jerry? Bunny? Smoochy poo! <sighs> Guess that's what they mean by taking the plunge. Come, my little bunny. The reception is about to start. Uh, okay, now why would the cliff just suddenly give way? Huh. Ha! I bet this had something to do with it. Come on, Sammy, let's go. Yeah, you don't want to miss Jer feeding Myrna cake, do you? <laughs> This whole Jerry Myrna thing is giving me the creeps. Something is definitely up, and I'm gonna figure out what it is. Ça me brise le cœur de voir une piscine dans cet état. Did you hear that? He said I have beautiful eyes. No, he didn't. He said my smile is fetching. Will you two focus? Not only is it way weird that Myrna showed up out of the blue, but she didn't even try to save Jerry when he fell. I mean, she is a former Whoop agent. It's like instinct. She probably froze in shock. That happens when someone you love is in danger. Think about it. If Myrna wanted something to happen to Jerry, why would she have a wedding with a bunch of whoop agents? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. But something still isn't right. So talk to Jerry about it. Yeah, just tell the old guy how you feel. You're right. I'll call him right now. Hello, girls. Hey, hey Myrna. Myrna. Where's Jerry? Why are you answering his phone? Bunny is taking the day off to recover from his little cliffside mishap. So I'm filling in. 
With over 30 years of experience, I'm more than qualified. Right. Well, just tell him I called. Ah, Myrna filling in for Jerry. That's it. I'm going to his house right now. His house? How totally intrusive. Count me in. Have fun. I'll be right here if you need me. <laughs> mm, second thought, I'd better stay here. Catch you later, Sammy. Uh -huh. <gasps> Hey, what's this? I knew it! Something is way wrong. <gasps> I can't be in the right place. Smoochie, oh, oh, Jerry! What happened to you? Oh, my Myrna, I miss her so. She's in my heart, she's in my soul, she's in my... Muffins! Huh? I'm baking little heart-shaped muffins to match her sweetness. Have you lost your mind? The only thing I've lost is my heart to Myrna. I even wrote a song about her. My, my Myrna! You are in big time trouble, Jerry. There's got to be something that's making you act this way. Oh, yes. Once a man has a wedding ring, it changes his life, you know. <gasps> that's it. The ring! It must be controlling you! Isn't it beautiful? Just like my Myrna. <gasps> Jerry, look! The diamond! It's pumping some sort of ooze into you! Hands off, Missy! Smoochie Boo! Gee, where's your newlywed glow, Myrna? It's time for our honeymoon at Niagara Falls. Now be a good bunny and go wait in the van. Okay, my lovely. Whatever you say. I don't know what you're up to, lady, but I won't let you poison Jerry's mind anymore! Do you really think Woof would have assigned me as your nanny if they thought you could defeat me? Again, dearie. Okay, what's with the throwing stars? What are you, some kind of ninja act? As a matter of fact, I am. <laughs> and in my discipline, I also learned of an ancient Japanese herbal love potion. So that's what's in Jerry's ring. Pretty clever, huh? Which is why I deserve to run whoop. Not that mini Jerry. And as you've seen, he's in no condition to stop me. But I am. <laughs> well, not this second, but just wait till I get out of this mess. You can try to your little heart's content, but thanks to Jerry's generosity, whoop becomes mine. <laughs> <laughs> Another ancient Japanese herbal concoction. <laughs> Enjoy. Not good!
shafts? Oh, Jet Amphibious Flight Suit! Awesome! Hmm. Not bad. Oh, Jerry, married one day and suddenly you can't pick up after yourself. <laughs> Inflatable. Finally a purpose for the beret. to the La Cinema. Pardon? What she means is, uh, vous c'est a moi. Go to the restaurant for some food, grab, chow. Clover, Alex, hurry! Myrna is an evil ninja who's trying to get rid of Jerry so she can run Whoop. Look familiar? This was in Jerry's tire. It's the same as the one I found at the cliffside and the ones Myrna threw at me. So I see. Sorry, Gilliam. <laughs> we have to bid you adieu. Au reservoir. <laughs> How do you say we're off to save our boss from his evil ninja bride in French? <laughs> Romantic, my sweet, not to mention invigorating. It's about to get even more exciting, my little funny. You got that right! <gasps> you! I should have known to get rid of you when I was your nanny. Your little game is over, Myrna. Get your claws off our Jerry. Gladly. You two go after him. I'll go after Myrna. Was I? 
you out all right. No! I... Oh! Oh! Look how wonderful I am. I'm, I'm, I'm irresistible. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> and so clever, too. <laughs> Ricky, she's totally worshipping herself, even more than she normally does. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, do, 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 do. <laughs> Jerry, we need to know who Quilliam digs once and for all. And your Frances is très fantastical. Girls, I'm really not in the mood to translate love poems. You owe us, Jer. We saved you from a life of misery. <laughs> Where's Gillian? Sammy, what did you do with him? Que vous avez, les filles? Vous n'appréciez pas d'avoir une piscine propre? Did he just tell her she had beautiful eyes? That two-timer! <laughs> Not to worry, girls. Judging by what Guillaume is saying, he doesn't like Mandy. All he cares about is linings, filters, and skimming. Really? That's all he's talking about? The pool? Really? Poor Mandy. If only she knew she was making a fool of herself. Yeah, like, hello. Anyone can tell if a guy likes them or not. I mean, please. Perhaps I was foolish in believing Myrna was my soulmate, but love is unpredictable. Not as unpredictable as Myrna, apparently, who turned out to be evil, but... As much as my heart aches, and as much as I regret that the woman I love cared only for herself, I do not regret that I took a chance on love. Yes. I felt the same about a stainless toaster oven once. 